There, that should do it. To my lords of the King's own council, I received this morning your kind invitation to organize a gala performance to celebrate His Gracious Majesty King Charles surviving another year with head and shoulders still attached. <laughs> I am replying by return to thank you. And when I say to thank you, I mean, of course, to tell you to sod off. <laughs> I would rather go to Cornwall, marry a pig, have 13 children by her, and see them all become members of parliament. I would rather hack off my big toe, slice it, mix it with beetroot, and serve it to the poor folk of Clapham <laughs> as a light summer salad. <laughs> Ask me if you wish to bury my face between the buttocks of a flatulent baboon. <laughs> but never, under any circumstances, ask me to involve myself in a royal gala performance. <laughs> my reasons, my lords, are twofold. In the first part, it is a well and long established fact that royal galas are very, very, very dull. <laughs> so dull that strong men have been known to stab their own testicles in an effort to stay awake. <laughs> Through the all singing, all dancing, no talent tedium that represents British variety at its best. <laughs> there are more genuine laughs to be had conducting an autopsy. <laughs> There is more musical talent on display every time my servant Baldrick breaks wind. <laughs> if the king has even half a brain, which I believe is exactly what he does have, <laughs> he will spend his birthday in pious prayer, naked, in a bramble patch, <laughs> with mouse traps attached to his orbs and scepter. I hope I make myself clear. I am yours as ever, Lord Blackadder, Privy Councillor. Shortly to be Privy Attendant if Cromwell has his way with the aristocracy. <laughs> Your Majesty. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Holy rolling, hidey high, bear. It's my birthday and I'll bear if I want to. I just popped in to see if you were going to organise my royal gala. Well, Your Majesty, it's interesting that you should I was talking about that. it the other day to Lord Rumsey, and the cringing cur dared to suggest that we tone things down a bit to pander to the popular mood. Well, I want you to kick his ass and give him a good clout about the head. Well, certainly, sir. But You'll uh, find his ass in a ditch in Tyburn and his head on a spike at Traitor's Gate. <laughs> <laughs> I take it, incidentally, Blackadder, that you think a birthday gala is a good idea? Sire, I think it will be the most exciting creation since God said to himself, God, it's a bit dark around here. How about I brighten things up a bit? Splendid! <laughs> I shall want you to open the whole thing. Some sort of speech telling everybody how wonderful it's all going to be. You know the sort of thing? Of uh, course, well, Sire, it will be my honour. Excellent, excellent. Well, uh, let's have a preview then. Uh, show me what you can do. Improvise. Let's have a look. Um, well, um... Come on, come on, let's hear something. Um, well, um, Your Majesty, Your Royal Highnesses, my lords, ladies and gentlemen. I stand here tonight as excited as a masochist who has just been arrested by the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> what you are about to witness will be the most exciting piece of entertainment since Bernard the Bear Baiter stopped using a big brown cushion and actually got himself a bear. <laughs> I ask you to put your hands together as I joyfully introduce this 50th birthday celebration. Let the revelries begin. Hmm. Very good. Very good. These are a few jokes, of course. <laughs>